Hey everyone, what's up? Your boy blew up on here, and I just got done reading an interview that uh, Vice did with Shaggy Two Dope. Apparently, they talk about um, wrestling um, and um, the gang affiliation, and also religion. And I wanted to come up on here and make this video, reading the part um, from the interview where Shaggy basically says that they're not a Christian band, and um, talks about his spiritual beliefs here. So this is Shaggy Two Dope. Uh, well, first the interviewer says, Moving to the band itself, I'm interested in the mythological aspects of the band and its impact on you and how religion or spirituality intersected with you growing up. I know you're half Cherokee and I'm half, um, I can't pronounce that word, and growing up, my father never really talked about God but only the Great Spirit. So I'm curious what, what your upbringing was like in that sense. Shaggy Two Dope says, when I was really, really little, like really fucking little, I'd go to church with my mom. I don't remember what age we stopped going. Growing up, it was always there, but no one would ever bring it up. It's more than a religion. The whole notion of us being Christian band is just so funny and ridiculous to me. And I think it's super, and I think it super stems from a track we did on the Wraith Shangri-La. It goes into the whole, we believe in God thing but it's one track it's like we're so karma based and there's something somewhere or no it's there's something somewhere it's undeniable sorry it's a, there's something somewhere that's undeniable there's got to be and that's pretty much what we're saying it could be Jesus and God Allah Buddha Buddha whatever Whatever your your belief system is is your belief system and you're not wrong But we're not making whole records hoping people cock their heads back with their eyes shut and wave their arms in the air laughs It's not What we're that's not what it's not what we're about. We're about let's go fuck this bitch Let's cut this dude's head off which it isn't very Christian unless you're on the Old Testament shit it's basically like we're preaching take a look at yourself who are you as a person and what will you leave behind when you die it's up to you we don't say do this do that our music is for entertainment not shoving messages but there's shit sprinkled in there if you want to pick up on it it's cool as fuck and that's why we put it in there if you want to connect with that it's great um so that is Shaggy basically speaking on spirituality and uh, he also speaks, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw this in there, the interviewer says I think the morality definitely cements a lot of different people together to become jugglers and makes others feel welcome in a community it's, a weird, it's weird seeing people talk shit because it's always people that are classist and don't understand what it's like to have nothing right Shaggy says I've seen kids tell me they had no friends and now they have a whole crew and them hanging out what's wrong with that and that's exactly and that's exactly people's whole thing against jugglers oh they're dirty and poor criminals no they're not sure some there's some but they're dirty there are dirty poor crooks that listen to every type of music and that whole gang thing is fucking ridiculous like yeah I'm sure there's gang members that call themselves jugglers and I'm sure gang members listening to Willie fucking Nelson you know what I mean laughs it's it's just ridiculous to me so read the full article I posted on jugglers online and um, yeah I just had to make a video about that ICP are not Christian they and uh, Shaggy Tuta, for one, believes in karma, you know what I mean? The Joker cards make you take a look at yourself with the message in the music. So, you know, to those who deny the message in the music, there is a message in the music. And there is a magical fucking spirituality thing going on there. So, yeah, let me know what you think in comments and video responses. Much clown love. Woo -woo.